we're talking to veteran lawfare attendee, LCN's very own Matt Broadbent. Hello, Matt. Hello. We're talking about lawfares today. Matt, uh, a lot of people think that lawfares are kind of an optional extra for the whole career uh, milk round, but that's not really the case. They're pretty important, aren't they? Lawfares are an absolutely amazing opportunity for you to meet law firms, to improve your knowledge, to be seen, to be remembered, to make an impression. They're also a big opportunity to get it very wrong. So law firms are something you need to think about in advance, something you need to prepare for, and as I said before, an opportunity to be grabbed with both hands. What's your advice for preparing for a law fair and uh, taking that into the actual event? Okay, well you, you, need to, you need to know something about the firms before you approach them. The idea here is not to have your first introduction to the firm. There's lots of information about firms available on Law Careers Net and the training contracts and Keepers Handbook, etc. You need to have read about those firms in advance. You need to have formed an opinion on them. Uh, you need to have devised some interesting questions. Uh, and you need to be approaching the law fair as an opportunity to enhance your knowledge on that firm, not just to be introduced to it. Particularly if this is the year that you're a second year lawyer or a final year non-lawyer where this is the year you're going to be making applications. If you're in earlier years, you know, perhaps there's a chance to be a little more circumspect, get a feel for the firms. But really, it never hurts to prepare. And I guess that extends to having more interesting conversations than just asking about, say, a firm's a vacation scheme dates or when to apply and things like that. Yeah, all of, all of that information is, is well documented. You need to be thinking more about uh, questions about the actual business and how it runs, perhaps thinking about what are the important departments in a firm, what are their values, perhaps looking at some of the cases they've done recently or clients they have and trying to delve a bit further and show that you have a genuine interest. Because what you need to be really aware of is that careers, sorry, recruiters are actually keeping notes. They are looking for people that are really wowing them, who seem switched on. Um, they all have mechanisms for keeping records and looking out for you in future events, be it a, an event at the firm itself or when your application comes in. If you have hit their radar in advance, then it's going to be to the good. By the same standard, if you've already queered your pitch by being a bad lawfare attendee and asking perhaps slightly stupid or possibly even insulting questions, then you know you might you might be doing your certain, your chances an active um, negative uh, chance. As you said, lawfares can also be a way to do a bit of a disservice to yourself if you make a bad impression. And we've all seen students make silly mistakes at lawfares. What are the big mistakes to avoid? They're, they're so obvious, really. So uh, don't approach a stand wearing your headphones, talking on your phone, talking to your mates. Uh, when you approach a firm, your, your introduction should be polite, positive, uh, instructive. No recruiter on a stand likes the phrase, who are you and what can you do for me? Similarly, don't go asking if they have a practice area that they may not have. You should know. If, you want, if you're wanting to do personal injury, say, you should be able to work out which firms in advance have got personal injury departments. If you just come blundering up to a firm that's a major commercial law firm and ask about personal injury, say, you're just making a fool of yourself. Uh, so the, there are lots of, you know, th think about what the recruiter's there for. They're there to meet you, they're there to promote their firm, uh, they're willing to answer sensible questions. If you're asking them to answer questions that are, as I said before, well documented in the literature or easily uh, answerable off your own back, you are wasting their time. And they're busy people and they don't appreciate you wasting their time. So if you've prepared, and this can even be, at worst, grabbing one of the directories that's available at the fair and having a quick read of what's on their entry immediately prior to coming out to them. So you've just got the basics. It's really not difficult. And we see so many people doing it wrong. So uh, put yourself ahead of the game. Sound advice. Matt Broadbent, thanks very much for talking to Thank us. Thank you.